year. I'm about to use a divine poker. Julian! Uh, to work. Welcome back to another video. God damn. My hair is a mess. The fuck? But, you know. We're here to watch another CJ the Champ video. This one is Escaro. Fuck, I don't, you know, the dude from Seven Deadly Sins. From Light Up Sketchers to Black Force. We about to find out. You know what I'm saying? I have, I have to go back to Seven Deadly Sins. I didn't watch not a bit of the last season. I watched all the other seasons but the last one. I'll be slipping. But anyway, let's get into it. So we gotta be thinking, okay, okay, this man gotta be dead, right? Right? This man is still standing here and he only scratched him! Oh my god. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for another installment of the most disrespectful moments in anime history. But today, we have something special. Cause you see, this is not just a disrespectful video, nah, we are also returning to the round table of Black Air Force activity. Because a new challenger is on the horizon, to be judged and to take his seat at this round table of menaces. But ladies and gentlemen, please rise, as it is time to praise the sun, cause as- But ain't he like the good guy though? Let's be honest. Skonor has finally arrived to take his seat. Like this man's arrogance is just straight up unmatched. Dude will literally go zero to 100 in a second. Like this man is so prideful, so arrogant, just straight up disrespectful. I just had to give him his own episode. So y'all already know we got the evidence on deck. But ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, <clears throat> exhibit A. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you exhibit A bodying the Ten Commandments. So while Bonnie, Lane, and Jericho are on the run from Galen and Meliskula, they end up falling into a ravine and they're trying to find a place to hide. So they end up finding this cave and they see this door. So they walk in the door and they end up finding a tavern with this dude. So when you're watching this for the first time, you're looking at the screen, you're like, who is this skinny ass? And bro is scared, he's like, hold on, hold on, holy night, nah, G, hold on, I'm not trying to get arrested today. So then he starts talking to Bond, and Jericho's like, wait a minute, you know this skinny ass nigga? Hold on, hold on, cuz, something is off. So he ends up hiding them in his pantry. So then Gallon and Meliskula pull up, and bro is sh bricks right now. So they- Yeah, I know this part very well. She was badass too up getting wasted in his tavern and they like oh yes we like you cuz shoot when we wipe out humanity we gonna keep you alive but then they like all right bro give it up we know them is hiding in that pantry but then gallon's like you know what let's play a game if you win i'll let them slide all you have to do is literally have a turn-based battle with me bro literally wants to have an actual pokemon battle with this man and if you run away you turn into stone so dude just straight up slaps him and he is out cold and gallon's like damn I thought I only tapped a little on the shoulder. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> ass. So then it turns morning and the sun is up and homie is still laid out. So then Gallon is looking at this wall and he sees this ginormous ax. So he ends up trying to pick it up, but he can't even lift it. So I was like, damn this heavy ass ass. What the fuck is this mule near or some shit? But then bro snatches it right out of his hand. I was like, nigga, get your filthy ass hands off of my damn ax. No, I feel sorry for y'all niggas because y'all came <laughs> just to die a painful death. So they like, hold on, wait a minute. No way you could be human. But he like, nah, I'm a human, I right. But the thing is, I stand above demons. I stand above gods. I stand above everybody. I will literally step on your ass. So then we finally see this is Escanor, the sin of pride. And my God, this man is prideful, all right? Bro looks like he put on at least about 500 pounds just worth of pure raw muscle. And his whole personality just took like a whole 180 turn. Dog's like I had to take off the light up sketches and throw on the black one, so what's good? So Gallon's like, oh, you bold, bold. You the most arrogant bastard I've ever met. So Gallon starts laughing at Escanor. It's like, <laughs> yes, yes, get out of my face. <laughs> he 
just chopped him in half with no warning at all. So Gallon reattaches himself and he's like, oh yes, I like this, my boy. So then Escanor basically says, yeah, uh, I basically kind of held back on you because uh, there's no point in one-shotting you because that's no fun. So Dog gets pissed off because he's basically just been humiliated. So then he charges up to full power and he's like, all right, then you want to talk that hot sh so be it. So bro just whacks him at full power like, my God, bro, the mountains have split. So we got to be thinking, okay, okay, this man got to be dead, right? Right? Nope. He's still standing here, and he only scratched him. Oh, my God. <laughs> bro, bro, that has got to be the most humiliating way to ever die, bro. You ended up dying playing your own game with your own dumb-ass stipulations that you made with it. And Escanor talking heavy right now. He like, Shh. And I don't blame him. I mean, it was against me. So then he's looking at old girl and he's like, listen, uh, so I don't hit females. So I'll give you a choice. You can escape or you could die. Just pick. But then she ends up activating her DSLs and she's like, Ooh, give me your soul. Ooh. So she just straight up snatches soul. this man's soul and give straight up soul. eats. But this man, hmm, the song, so hot. It literally start the song he used. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Frying her insides. Looking like she just ate a whole bag of talkies and ghost pepper chips. So this man just straight up deep fried her and turned her into a piece of charcoal. And she is done. GG's. So then he starts talking to Bon and he's like, listen, my boy, it's almost noon. So you stay your ass here and that's an order. <laughs> bro, man ain't even a captain and he giving orders. Hey, yo. Oh, nah, bro. This man's different. So after this, Escanor decided to just take a little side quest. So we ended up fighting Gother and just straight up slapped him from hand with his memories. Then after this, he just straight up one shot of Gortini and Droll. Then look at him. He like, next time you play with my memories like that. I'm gonna slap the f out of you. So later on, the Ten Commandments launch a full attack on Leonis. And everybody is paralyzed because of Esteros' commandment, which is basically anybody that stands before him literally like cannot move. They can't attack him or anything. Oh yeah, here we go. His big ass is walking right up towards this nigga. Bro's like, hold on, hold on, why are you moving right now? And bro's like, why should I bear any hatred towards somebody weaker than myself? All I feel is pity. So dog gets <laughs> right up in his face and he's like, yeah. Your pack gonna be hit real good tonight, boy. Then this man says, please don't harbor any hatred towards me. If you would be stricken by the own effects of your commandment, then it wouldn't be any fun for me. <laughs> yo, this man basically said, hey, yo, you better watch your own powers, bro, because that might end up backfiring on you from being face to face with me. Yo, this man is a demon. So then Esterosa just socks him. And Eskimo is like, oh, so it's like that then. And then he just pile drives him all the way down. And then he kicks him all the way up like a damn elevator. And just straight up comboed his ass. And we like, damn, he getting his ass beat right now. But dude ends up throwing the punch and he blocks it. But the punch oh, was so yeah. strong, it drops him. Dog's like, oh, what's wrong? Did a coin fall on the ground or some shit? Don't tell me that little weak ass punch I just threw just knocked the wind out you. So then they end up swinging again, but he ends up using a full counter on him. So while Esteros is explaining his ability, Escanor's just patting his scratch like, wow, no wonder I actually felt pain from that. It was my own strength. So he charges up his son and he's like, hmm, I guess I gotta get serious myself now. So he just straight up blasts his ass. Dude literally launched him all the way to the lake. This man is just riding the sun looking down at him like, mm -hmm, you really thought you ate that sh didn't you? Bum ass nigga. So then he just straight up slams this sun in his face and drills this all the way to the bottom of the lake. And Dog said, no, I'm not even done. I remember that. I think the whole lake just evaporated from that shit. So then he blows it up and it just straight up eats evaporates it entirely and he is walking towards him without a care in the world right now look at him he technically just deep fried him in the lake so to get to scrap again but esterosa ends up using a full counter and looks like he just blasted his entire face off so esterosa thinks he's already won he's like yeah i'm smoking your pack tonight cuz all that muscle for nothing you sorry as hell but oh boy <laughs> it ain't no weird ah noon that his chest gets split open and bro starts talking he's like wow you really thought you ate didn't you who decided that you thought this was over who decided that bum ass nigga i decide when this is over the dog's like do yourself a favor and out of my face so he just <laughs> fly 
Bro is gone. And then Zell just comes in and tries to stop it. But that's just dumb. So they both gone. Adios. Dude just really fried them off the map. So yeah, that was Exhibit A. And it's time to move on to uh, Exhibit B. Dun dun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Exhibit B. Exhibit B consists of running Meliodas's pockets and embarrassing a god. So as we can see right now, Meliodas has lost his damn mind. So Escanor is like, hmm, looks like I gotta clean up the little boy's mess. So he tells Merlin to trap them both in this cube. So while Meliodas is in his assault form, bro is talking mad heavy right now. Bro's like, shut your fat ass up, you lowly human. So Escanor is looking at him like, hmm, so you wanna fight, boy? So Escanor is like, yeah, I'm in a good mood right now because I can finally prove while I'm better than you. Look at your drip, whack. Look at your <laughs> So they start swinging so Meliodas hits him with the Beyblade, let it rip! So Meliodas ends up stabbing Escanor, and bro ends up falling back. So everybody's like, ain't no way this boy just lost. But Merlin's like, nah, G, hold on, hold on, just a few more minutes. So Escanor gets up and he's like, wow, that actually kind of stunk. You pretty strong, my boy, but obviously second to me. Oh my God, bro, this man is getting bigger, bro, he has <laughs> chest and he puts his nasty ass low budget stink ass feet on his face like come on bruh so they continue to scrap so melio just swings but his sword ends up getting stopped by this man's muscles i was like get this weak ass butter knife off me so then he starts swinging but melio just ends up using this man as a human pinball so melio just thinks it's over but ho 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 <laughs> look at the time It's high noon. Between Abomination and the Hulk. So then Meliodas attacks him and slices him about a thousand times. But then bro turns around and looks at him like, wow, that tickles. So he uses his hand, cuts the literal air, and it one shots him. <laughs> Nigga hit him with a divine chop. So then he's looking. That shit is dope. How does that feel to get looked down on by a human? You bitch ass nigga. Even though this animation quality is ass, it still didn't stop me from whipping your ass. Oh my God, bro, he just bodied this man, beat him so bad he made him look like a Roblox custom created character. So <laughs> Escanor's walking down this alleyway with Hog, and I ain't gonna lie, man's is acting hella down bad right now. Man's is like, oh, Lady Merlin, let me get in them cheeks. Just wants to see the coochie, that's all I ask. So while this is happening, Archangels are getting drunk off their ass. And the Docio's like, my God, what is this presence? Is this a drink hitting? So then he flies outside. He's like, hey, yo, big and fat ass. What y'all doing out here, man? Then Eskimo's like, oh my, Princess Margaret has been taken over by a n So then he jumps up and he's like, <clears throat> pardon me, but uh, it disgusts me to be looked down on by someone smaller. So allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Eskinor. Pleasure to meet you, bitch. <laughs> Yo, the audacity on this man. Dude really had to take the high ground to assert his dominance over a god. So Ludosio starts attacking him. <laughs> this man is just straight up slapping his sword away, bruh. Dog is looking at him like, uh, bitch, can I help you? So he starts swinging again. And <laughs> dude is weaving all this job, dog. I was like, can you please calm down with this temper tantrum you were throwing, ma'am? So he grabs him, but he escapes and he ends up chopping up his whole shirt. So then Ludosio basically says, all right, listen, my boy, uh, you got my brother's power, so uh, I'm gonna need you to run your pockets. But then Eskimo points at her and he's like, shut your stupid ass up. I ain't relinquishing shit. You know what, matter of fact, run your fucking pockets, <laughs> bro. just straight up <laughs> evaporates his sword. He's like, you should be grateful I don't slap the out of the old dumb ass for running up on me like that. Ugh, the King of Arrogance strikes again. So yeah, that was Exhibit B and it is finally time for our final exhibit. <clears throat> Exhibit C. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached our final exhibit, Exhibit C. Exhibit C consists of poking Zeldris and jumping the Demon King. So as we can see, Ludosio Merlin and Escanor are squaring up with Zeldris, Cusack, and Chandler right now. Yo, <laughs> look how he is looking down at this man, bruh. Looking down at him like he's <laughs> his child or something. So while they're fighting, Zeldris uses this move and it's like a literal vacuum. So while everybody's getting pulled in, look how this man anchors himself down. Oh my God, yo, this man is just a straight giga. Bruh said, I'm not moving an inch. So Ludosio ends up getting stuck on Escanor's back. And look at him, he's like, wow, you need a piggyback ride or some sh 
So Ludosio was asking for help, but Eskin was like, nah, G, I'm good. Matter of fact, what gives you the authority to give me orders? So Ludosio's like, who the hell do you think you talking to, nigga? I'm a god. And bro's like, uh, okay, congratulations. You want to cook or something? Sorry, bro, I just made a week, niggas. But then Merlin's like, bro, just help the bitch. So then he grabs her like a toy, and he's like, all right, then uh, you better have a good plan, or else I'm going to let your ass go right here, right now. But then they end up getting slammed into a wall again. So then Eskin was like, all right, yo, I I'm sick of this. I'm about to discipline this boy. So this man gets up and he is straight up walking through the Oh shit. He's talking heavy right now. He's saying first Melly. I didn't see this part of the show. This must be a new season I didn't watch. It's still gonna be good anyway. Yo, this then Esterosa and now yo bitch ass. My my looks like I gotta body the whole family now. But then Zelda's talking and he's saying, nah, I ain't like them. I'm built different. Then Eskinor just laughs at him and he's like, shut up, boy. So he slams his axe into him, but his axe ends up cracking. He was like, you know what, bro? I don't even need the axe. So he just straight up chucks the axe. And Zelda's is like, hmm. You've laid down your weapon. You must have accepted death, haven't you? But Eskinor is like, nah, nigga. I don't need a hand for your ass. So it gives him the divine shot. And oh my god, look at Zeldris where he's like, oh my god. Oh my god. He's only using a hand. So Zeldris steps back, but Eskinor is like, nah, bring that ass here, boy. <laughs> he hits this man with the divine poke. And straight up poke. Divine poke. <laughs> That right there might be one of the most disrespectful things in just Shit, yeah, I'm about to use a divine poke. Uh, did it work? It's history. Imagine fighting somebody and they beat you by poking you to death. Nah, bro, I would never show my face again. So after this, Escanor actually ended up losing his power of sunshine. And the Demon King is attacking, and this little thing is licking this man up right now. Like, Jesus Christ. But then Mael comes down and saves him. So then Escanor's saying, all right, listen, bro, I need sunshine back. But Mael's like, uh, you know you will die if you get this power back, right? But bro's like, ah, if I get to run the hands with the Demon King before I die, then so be it. So while they're fighting the demon, this man comes out of nowhere and stops his sword with his hand. Looking at him like, my, my, hello, bootleg Sephiroth, how are you? You see, today is not your lucky day because, uh, look at the time. It's high noon. And this man is talking heavy. Man's like, you whack ass demon, I can't wait to beat the brakes off of your ass. So then he tells everybody to stay out of this. This is my fight and my fight only. So they both just start swinging my Move your God. Straight up rock him, sock him. Then he just smashes his head into the ground. He's saying, you are nothing compared to me, you weak ass nigga. Your punch is soft as hell. So they keep on scrapping and then he turns into like this ginormous flaming Super Saiyan nigga like Infernape. So we get back to the fight and this man is just eating all of his punches to the face. Then he just started walking him down and just laying all the hands on him. Just absolutely comboing the sh out of his ass. So, I mean, we got a little bit of his backstory, and yeah, yeah, this man was a menace. Straight up slapped Meliodas and Vaughn, and then he ran out and just literally beat up an entire mountain. So, we get back to the fight, and Meliodas is getting mad on him. He's like, bro, you really ain't gonna let us jump in with you? Come on, dog. At least let us get a few licks in. So, he just said, all right, then. So, they just jumped him. And yeah, that was basically raps after that. And then, yeah, you know, after this, <sighs> the worst part of this show happened, dog. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. One of the only reasons I even watched this show was because of this man, dog. Said, sorry, y'all, I gotta ascend to the round table. Hey, I mean, at least he got the smooch at the end, though. Yeah, but R.I.P. the realest to do it, man. Damn, he died. Hey, evidence, bro, just come in, take your seat, just sit your ass down. Just the plain up arrogance in just the absolute zero to 100 switches? Nah, bro. There, there should be no question. So, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, Make sure y'all go sub to the second channel. We're actually starting Elden Ring this week. Also, follow you boy on IG and Twitter, and uh, I'm out of here. All right, that's it. That. Shit, I might start Elden Rings, too. I'm going to do it because, you know... I've been working all week. Anyway, see you guys later. I was not trying to show my armpits there, but it is what it is. Deuces.